Alright, this video will be a bit different. I'm going to be doing a voiceover of me playing Bed Wars. The, reason, the main reason I'm doing uh, a Bed Wars video, I mean, not a Bed Wars video, a voiceover video, is because I got a new keyboard, you know? And then, um, it's kind of loud. And when I tried recording, it was kind of like overtaking the, like my voice and you couldn't hear anything. So, I'm trying to get a mic stand. Um, if you guys come into my streams, you know, like donate 20 bucks, you know, I'm, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Yeah, y'all don't need to do that. But I'm gonna be commentating over this video. And I'm gonna—I recently got the Relic at 800 ammo. Well, not recently. I was planning to do to do a video on it, and then I kind of gave up on it, and then now I'm here again. So here's my like review or whatever. And I'm also gonna be talking about it now that it's like fifty dollars. Like it's selling for fifty bucks now. Uh, the main competitor is probably Glorious Model O. So I'm gonna be comparing it to the glorious models all con um like specs or whatever from like other videos from all the research I've done, and I'm gonna be telling you guys is this mouse worth it for fifty dollars? So, uh yeah, let's just get into the unboxing. All right, uh, this video I will be unboxing. Uh, I recently just ordered a mouse called the Rogue Cat K100 Ammo, and I heard that had some pretty good reviews. So I'm just gonna be unboxing it here. Alright, let's open this. Okay, so the Rogue King 100, the boxing looks pretty good. Uh, it looks pretty sleek. Cool background. Okay, let's open this up. Alright, let's do this. Let's see if I can, if I know how to use scissors, because sometimes I don't. Alright, let's just cut through here. Yes. Yes, I figured out how to use scissors. I'm very... Yep. I should get an award for this. And boom. Alright, this is the unboxing so far. I'm going to put this to the side. Put the scissors to the side. And have this. Alright, so over here... So the packet quick installation guide. That's cool. And that's basically it. Here's the wire to the actual mouse. So I'm going to take this plastic off. There we go. Okay, good. The, the main reason I actually got this mouse is because I want to learn how to actually drag click. Okay, so the, the, this is actually, it, it looks kind of big. Here, I, I have an S11 plugged into my computer. Yeah, so the, I heard this mouse had very good reviews. Double click. I the, So I don't know exactly how to drag click yet. That's why I, I got this mouse. It has two side buttons. They're pretty click. <laughs> it's a pretty solid mouse. It's pretty solid. The thing, this is the people thought I think it's like a lot bigger because it looks very fat and chunky. It's actually around the same size with like the uh, Red Dragon M711. So over here, it's it's just like wider and it's actually a bit shorter in my opinion. Here, so sorry if this is a bit messy. I'm gonna try to clean this up. Yeah, but yeah, it feels pretty good, you know. It, it just it feels like it fits pretty well in your hand actually. So I'm gonna go into games and I'm gonna test it out. Um, yeah, <laughs> I did a lot of recordings and none of them were good, so here I am just commentating over this. Okay, so the main thing with the, uh, with the Roka K100 Amo. First of all, the, uh, there's not as much RGB, there's not as close as RGB. The, all there is for RGB is the scroll wheel, which honestly I'm fine with. I don't want it to look too flashy, like, I, I, it, like it looks nice. Because if you like RGB, like all around your mouse, uh, then if you want to go for, if you like a bit more budget, then the, uh, Rokat Cone XTD or the EMP can be a good option for you. For, uh, when I got this for $30, I, I, uh, when I first got it, it's super easy to get high CPS butterfly clicking on this mouse. Well, maybe not super easy, but you, if you had, if you, like, sucked at butterfly clicking, you can get 20 CPS with this mouse with like having like no experience better for like looking like all you have to do is just tap fast with your two fingers and you can get 20 CPS. It's honestly crazy. The only thing is that if you have bigger hands, the switches are a bit like not as wide, they're a bit smaller. That's the only thing if you have bigger hands like me. Sometimes it's a bit hard since I have bigger hands. Uh, so it's not exactly uh, like... If you want to get like high CPS butterfly looking, maybe the Model O would be a better choice for you. Here's me trying to garbage. But yeah, 
overall this mouse is a really good value for thirty dollars. If you can get this for under fifty dollars, if you can get it for twenty five dollars to thirty dollars, try to buy it as fast as possible. This mouse is an insane value for thirty five dollars or thirty dollars, whatever you get it for. But there are some cons with this mouse. Of course, this mouse if you're if you're gonna oh if you're gonna like play other games other than Minecraft, like. It's there are better options since it's a bit heavier. It's not going to be as good for FPS games unless if you don't really care about um like weight or whatever. Cause other miles can like glide better or whatever. So yeah, I can also not drag click on this mouse. I I can drag click 40 CPS when I long drag and I can like short drag like around now 15 CPS. Also, I'm gonna compare now to this mouse to the Model O. So now since it's pricing around $50, the Model O and the and the Roka K100 AMO, people have been debating what whether to get it. That, that was me whenever I first saw the Roka K100 AMO come out. So it was it went to like $25 to $50 to $30 on Christmas. So I got it on Christmas. So this was one of my Christmas gifts. So this mouse was an insane deal for thirty dollars. So I'm gonna compare what you want, and I'm gonna say which one would you get if you had to debate if they were both fifty dollars. Okay. So if I'm gonna be completely honest, the Glorious Model O is better if you if you play games other than Minecraft a lot. If you play if your main game is like Minecraft and you play it like uh more than half the time, then the and you wanna like get high CPS, the Roka K100 might be uh, the twist for you, but there are some things. The Glorious Model O can also get really high CPS, and it glides pretty well as well. The only thing is that I saw a lot of videos where like their left click wasn't working when they were drag clicking, so I don't think the build quality is as good as the Rokat mouse, but it's still really good. So it, there's a lot of RGB. You can also like a hexagon, um, hexagon shape or whatever. And it, it looks really nice since you can see the RGB inside of it, I believe. I, the, don't quote me on that. But yeah, the RGB looks a lot better. It looks like more like gaming in like 2021 or whatever you, whatever you're watching this or whatever. So it's really good for uh, RGB and looks. The Roka K100 ammo sometimes from angles looks like an old mouse. Like not gonna lie. D d don't hate me on that. It still has RGB, so it's gaming. The thing, but with this mouse though, the drag clicks are better than the Glorious Model O. Cause I heard one of my friends has the Glorious Model O, and he said that um, it it, it it's a bit lighter. He said so. I think he said it was harder to um, it was harder to drag click because it would move since it's lighter. Cause it's more for like FPS games. Cause you know you want it to be lighter. And also the Roka K100 ammo with button. With butterfly clicking is not as good as the Glorious Model O, I'd say, because my friend can get more CPS than me butterfly clicking with the uh, Glorious Model O. So, I, if I really had to say, uh, if you had options, um, if you want to go for more like the drag clicking route, if you want to be like Bedless Noob or whatever, and you want to be like drag clicking 24-7, I'd do the Roka K100 ammo is really is better for drag clicking and for Bed Wars if you don't really care about, if you're already good with tracking. So if you if you can just get used with this mouse for tracking, then you'll be fine. Since it's a bit heavier, so it might be a bit harder to track, but it, it it's doable. This mouse can also easily triple click. I I I went triple clicking in like one month now at this point, and I and I've garbage all the way in like what like two weeks after I got this mouse with with no experience like drag clicking, which is which is crazy. Because with the M711, a lot of people said that if you drag clicked with it, it would take about a month to learn how to drag click. So I learned how to garbage in the amount of time if you spend 10 more dollars in the M711 if you get that good deal. But of course, these are the options if you only have $50. So if you have way more budget, let's say you had, had like a lot more money, maybe like 100 bucks. Try to go for the XTD or the EMP, but that's kind of a hard deal now since everyone sells the XTDs and whatever. For like two hundred dollars, which I just think is completely dumb, because it, it's sad that Rogue doesn't make those masks anymore since they're just so overpowered for Bed Wars. Well, not just Bed Wars, for the CPS in general. So yeah, it really depends on what you want if you are deciding between these two mouses. So ultimately, it really depends on what you want.
So if you want more of like a butterfly cookie in other games, and it's also good for Minecraft, you can go for the Glorious Model O. If you want to like, mainly play Minecraft and like have more CPS and drag clicking, then go for the Relka K100A mode. It ultimately depends on what you want. So that's my review on the, uh, the Roga K100 ammo and uh, whatever else, the Glorious Model O or, or whatever. Alright, just watch this gameplay. Yeah. Oh yeah, sorry to pop in one more time, but I was thinking of making a video of how to drag click on the Roga K100 ammo. So if you guys enjoyed that or you guys want to do that, make sure to tell me in the comments and like the video and subscribe to let me know if you guys want me to do it. Anyways, let's actually go to the gameplay and master keyboard sounds, because, you know, why not? Stealing covers, I like to drink to myself. So I'ma have another no. I don't need a hand to hold tight, don't need a love that's all mine. But sometimes I just want somebody to talk to. I can do my own moves, no, I don't need a hint to hold.